as an abstract expressionist, my painting is very gestural and expressive. But I think using the palette that I use, using a lot of fluorescent colour, and then scaling that up to super scaled works that are installed in public space, that's where my practice as an abstract expressionist shifts and becomes something else. I think the function of art is greatly extended by placing it into a public environment um, where a lot more people can experience the work and potentially it's unexpected. Geoffrey paints into my paintings with his pictorial style. Yeah, but, uh, yeah Rose takes it to a new level because yeah. we work quite intensely. We also found that sometimes putting pictorial elements onto Rose abstract makes it a bit palatable to a different audience as well. Exactly. They, they see something they recognise and it gives them like a, a foot, foot step in the door. Uh, the first painting we worked on was at the NGV studio and I just attacked it with roses. Um, I like to distress my work as well and let elements of the background come through. So, um, With public works there's so many things that come into consideration. It's, an, it's project management to create works of that scale with, and it starts from um, a whole proposal process, um, site management, safety and uh, when it comes to public work there's actually quite a great deal of planning involved and even just getting the initial concept over the line yeah. before the work starts. The work that we're going to make is, is essentially going to cover the entire stand. Um, so viewers will see the work from a distance and, or, and when they're within the stand they'll basically be immersed within the space of the painting. Um, we'll also be collaborating with a couple of other designers, with Frankie and Swiss, who create textiles. They print with an inkjet um, technology onto fabrics. So we'll, we'll have some of our textiles there, as well as um, collaborating with Drew Sinclair of Bangs Boutique um, to do a one-off piece of furniture that has our work integrated into it because we're open to diversifying our practice. Yeah. I think you'd be kidding yourself if you were just doing one thing and thought that was a safe bet. Uh, I think it's important to be very selective yeah. as to who you work with. Again, at the National Gallery when we were doing our residency, there were eight of us working in the space together and we, uh, quite a few of us ended up collaborating during that process and that was a really successful collaboration. As I guess people are knowing about the kind of work I do, I'm, I'm getting approached with other projects to take on. Um, deadlines are really good to work towards. It gives you a different level of exposure and it's a different crowd. So. The audience that I was able to reach through being part of DMT was far greater than anything I could possibly achieve on my own. and really good to be able to reach into the area of architecture and interiors and an audience outside the fine art world. <laughs>